Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today I want to take a couple of minutes to show you a new toy I got. The guys over at Thermapro sent me an advanced copy of their new product called the Temp Spike. This is a truly wireless meat thermometer and I'm going to give you a demo of this and show you all the features. So let's have a closer look. So the first thing I want to do here is show you the box. It comes in a nice, very simple box. You just pop the top off and inside the box is the temp spike in its base case that's a, that's a charging case and it has a really nice uh, plastic top on it. And the thermometer just rests in this cradle and when you're not using that, the cradle serves another function. It keeps your thermometer uh, stick your your uh, temp spike charged on this unit there are a couple of lights you've got a probe light that gives you a battery level indicator for the probe itself and then a battery level indicator for this case which is also the Bluetooth uh, booster it's got a Bluetooth connection indicator here and the S button on this unit is used to silence alarms that that come off on this and to reset the device should it need to be reset on this side of the base there is a bluetooth port i'm sorry a usb port it's a usb c connector that is used to charge the base charger so what i'd like to do here is give you a little tour of the app and how this sets up it's very simple so we're going to kick off here. I'm going to start the Temp Spike app. And it comes up and tells you uh, to fully charge this device before you want to use it. And what we want to do is we want to add this device to our app. So I'm going to press the Add Device button on the app. And then you need to pop this guy out of the base. And you'll see the lights start to chirp on here. And it immediately comes up here on the app. As the temp spike so I'm going to hit the plus button there and then it's going to show us our device and it shows what the ambient temperature is and the internal temperature that the probe is currently experiencing and across the top there it shows you that we do have our Bluetooth connection and uh, if you tap on that graphic it brings up the full screen version of what's going on with your uh, temp spike. The top one is your meat temperature and the bottom one's your ambient temperature and you've got a lot of options of things you can do with this. If you tap on the meat option up there you can select what kind of meat you're cooking and uh, one of the things I did is I added one down here at the bottom but first I'm going to show you if you're cooking beef like you want to tap on the beef option and when you tap on the arrow out to the right, it allows you to select and choose what target temperature you might want to have for that particular cook. And if there's not an option here that you want, you can hit the plus button down at the bottom and define one of your own. So when we choose a meat that we want to cook, let's just say, for instance, that I've got this pork butt defined down here as one of the ones I created. I'm going to choose set. And then the screen comes up and tells you how to insert your temp spike into the meat. And it does once again show you that you need to insert the meat all or insert the thermometer probe at least all the way to the mark there. And then you just press continue and it tells you once again about where you want to place your base. You want to keep it away from any extreme heat. And then we just continue. And when back on this screen it's showing us several things. We've got a target temperature there that we defined. We'll get an alarm when we get to that. Or you can turn the alarms on or off or what kind of vibration, whether you want a vibration or not. And down here on the bottom, uh, you've got your ambient temps and you can set low and high temperature alerts on your ambient tip. So if your grill or smoker temperature falls below a certain level or climbs above a certain level you can have it alert you to that so the next thing I want to do here with this is let's let's do a cook with it and let's see how it behaves in a real world real world setup okay so today we're gonna kick off 
uh, another test here. We're going to use the temp spike to do an actual cook. I'm going to cook a chicken uh, for starters on this guy. And uh, what I'm going to do here quickly is I'm going to kick off the temp spike app. And I've already removed the temp spike from its base, so it will connect here momentarily with the app. There it goes. So what I want to do is tap on that. I want to go change it and tell it I'm going to cook a chicken. And I have created my own chicken item here because I set my chicken up to cook to a little cooler temperature than most. And now the app is telling me to insert the temp spike. So I'm going to put this guy in. We're going to put it into the deep part of the breast all the way to the line just like you see it there and then i'll press the continue button on the app it's reminding me not to set my base too close to the heat i'm going to press continue and you can see here the app is showing me my ambient temperature because i haven't put it in the grill yet and the internal temperature of that chicken still coming down because that guy just came out of the refrigerator so now we're going to toss this guy on the grill okay we're going to go ahead and stick this guy on my smoker and uh we'll let it cook we'll put that guy right in the middle close the lid and we'll monitor this and while our chicken's cooking i'm gonna see how far away from the grill outside i can get with this uh phone before i lose connection i've already gone around all through the house and all over my property here and i have not lost connection once so let's see how far we can get uh, and still see the grill I've come across the street to a parking lot away from my back deck where the grill is. Uh, that's how far away we are and I still have perfect connection. Haven't lost connection, haven't gotten any alarms. So let me see if I can get further. I can't get a whole lot further away and still see the grill. Okay, this is how far away I got before the connection was lost outside. I am somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 maybe even 600 feet away from the grill so that's pretty strong so that's a pretty long way away from the grill and like i said from anywhere on my property here i'm not running into any connection loss inside the house or outside the house and i can tell you this also i've got a more expensive version from another company of this same tool and it does not have anywhere near this range so let's go back now and uh have a look at where we're where we are with the chicken inside the app uh, my internal temperature of the meat is up to 71 degrees and my grill's running according to this about 334 i'm actually probably running the grill itself is close to 350. another thing i want to show you here if you tap on the graph uh, you can see a visual graph display of the meat temperature during this cook and you can also see where you have your target temperature set so we'll be back to look at this guy closer to the time it's going to be finished okay we're going to have a quick look at our chicken we're a little over an hour into this cook and man that thing's looking really good we're going to also have a look here at what's going on in the app so i will close that back up and put the uh, app screen back up here. It's showing the internal temperature of my meats, 131, and it's estimating a time left of about 16 minutes. So uh, we'll be back as this chicken finishes up. Okay, I'm gonna put the uh, app back up here. I just got my alarm that we were at the five degree mark. I, You know, in the beginning here, I set up an alert to give me an alarm five degrees before I hit my target temperature. My target temperature set at 150. So when I hit the 145 here, I got an alert, which is something I like to set up because that means I need to start looking at things. So uh, this thing's gonna be ready very quickly. The app is estimating four minutes and 18 seconds left, which I think is a little uh, short of what it might actually take so we'll be back in a few minutes when this chicken's done to have a look okay i am going to uh bring the app back up here because i'm at 149 and it's uh gonna give me an alarm here very quickly very shortly i hope it's going to uh, not take too terribly long here so i will just speed up through the video here until we actually get the alarm 
Okay, there's the alarm. It's showing 150 degrees, so I'm going to silence that alarm and we will uh, have a look at this chicken. This thing, man, that looks amazing. So we're going to get this off the grill. So that cook came out perfectly. I was very impressed with the cook. I even double checked the accuracy of the probe with one of my other Thermapro thermometers and it's it's within a half a degree of, of being what we were getting on the temp spike. Uh, this thing worked incredibly well and like I said, I've got another competitor model of this that the Bluetooth range does not work anywhere near as well as this one does. That's why I quit using that one. This one's going to be a good a good tool. Uh, the probe itself is also rated at IP67 for waterproof, which I just looked that up so I'd know exactly what that meant. That means that it's uh, good for up to one meter of water for 30 minutes. I don't know if that would be enough that I would want to use this in a sous vide application or maybe... You know, sometimes there's a possibility that I'd like to use something like this in a deep frying application. I'm not sure if that's possible yet, but if I figure that out or if I find that out, I definitely will let you know. So, guys, if you are interested in buying one of these, I'll have a link in the video description along with a discount code that you can use to save a few bucks on this. Like I said, uh, this was provided to me by Thermapro. I am a Thermapro affiliate and I am uh, very impressed with all of the products that I have purchased so far. This is the first thing they've given me. So, uh, Guys, let me know what you think. If you've got one of these, let me know what you think about it. If you're getting one, let me know when you get it and let me know how you like it. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.